Greetings Laddingtons, this is a follow-up to my latest podcast episode, Archetypes. If you aren't subscribed to the podcast already, you are missing out greatly and you must immediately sign up. First link in the description box below. And as you all know, then if you have watched, if you have listened to the episode, I am a philosopher prince and thus I am a patron of the art. So I want to give a shout out to my man, Big Dave Martell of The Bog. I appeared on this channel to do an interview. I will link that on my telegram. It was a good conversation, if I may be so bold. So anyway, he has opened up the Bizarre Archives. So it's, um, it's a place for fantasy and science fiction, short stories, etc. So um, yeah, check it out also in the description box below. Now, that being said, I thought to clarify something and I also suppose that most of you saw my video called I was wrong where I talk about my my golden and glorious hair and I said that it's important for me to have it and this goes into what I'm about to tell you now when it comes to archetypes. So. I've said this before, I'll say it again to clarify a few different things. I don't want everyone to think that I say that you need to be like me, that you need to enjoy the things I enjoy, that you need to live your life as I do, because I am unique in my role as a certain archetype. So to take an example, if you have a regular healthy normal guy he would prefer to be at the bar with with his friends drinking beer that is good and normal now if I say that I would prefer to do something else I would prefer to read Persian poetry from uh, Rumi and meditate upon it you might think I'm crazy if I would rather do that on a Friday night. Now, of course, it's different if you are a family father, but even if that weren't the case, I would still perhaps prefer it. Now, this doesn't mean that I think I am oh so intellectual or oh I'm so Apollonian, I'm so disciplined. It's not about that at all. It's about me seeking to find fulfillment within my archetype. So, as I've said, before, I'll say it again, in the name of complete honesty, my ambitions are quite clear. I'm an aspiring enlightened despot. I have aspirations, my ambitions are those of leadership. Now, there are, there's only one way to gain enough gravitas, and that is to gain the respect of others in many different ways. So if you ask why is it necessary for you to live a disciplined lifestyle and to focus only on your enlightenment and to produce content and whatever it might be. Yes, it's because for me, for my archetype, it will yield more fulfillment and happiness as opposed to those who perhaps do not have the same aspirations. For them it would be absolutely crazy to not want to go out to you know, spend time with their friends in those situations. Now of course I do love the camaraderie myself and that's something that all men should have uh, in their lives. So it's not something I can completely forego. I also need it. That's why I promote training in uh, groups with your menrebund, with your friends. So male camaraderie, it's important even if you are, uh, no matter what you are, it's not reserved for, for any particular archetype. It's needed. But you need it to a different extent. So, for example, if you are a the warrior archetype, as I mentioned, then you might want it even more. But if you are of a artist archetype or something, yes, you want it, but you also want time to focus on your art. If you are of the priest archetype, you do want camaraderie, but you also need, you want time for reflection. If you are of, well, the Philosopher Prince archetype, you will also need time to 
optimize every single thing you can in your life so that you can attain more gravitas so that you can yeah be a, a reasonable choice in uh, in a type of leadership position later on now that being said most of the advice i am giving i can give you uh, some advice now try to sleep eight hours each night try to minimize the exposure of blue light late in the evening this will apply to whomever you are you can be a artist, a philosopher, a warrior, a lover, whomever whomever you are, you will benefit from the advice. But I also want to make it clear that if I present a certain uh, way of life, it doesn't mean that you need to be the same. If I make uh, an epic training video, which I will release, one of the coming videos will be a training video. Now I'm not saying that everyone needs to embody that particular ideal but i have to do it and that's also why i have to do certain things i have to be certain things so i'm not saying that oh you need to be exactly like me otherwise you're doing it wrong uh, you need to appreciate everything i do otherwise you're doing it wrong it's absolutely not what i'm saying to take an example which i yeah mentioned in the podcast the warrior archetype would probably want to be out doing some sort of high testosterone activity on a Saturday afternoon but I can just as well be happy with uh, playing some Warhammer Underworlds with a good friend um, because different archetypes again and now if I say that I could very well imagine secluding myself for a week to meditate upon a certain topic or just meditate overall for some of you it might sound like a nice idea and for some others it might sound like a complete waste of time a complete um, completely not attractive or appealing in the list that's fine that's because we have different archetypes that's because we are different and we don't all need to be the same no something also that is important to point out that if you have certain interests do not be pretentious in the sense that you think you're more think you're better because you have certain interests that you again you like to read poetry and you have read Dostoevsky's crime and punishment ten times uh, it's not necessarily better to have done that than to have a good well-developed social life it's about having different archetypes having different sort of interests and by the same token if you are someone who perhaps isn't all too keen on being overly social I got a question on Subscribestar the other day where a guy said he he wasn't as he felt bad for not being so talkative but you know being talkative it's not it's not a manly trait at least not in certain countries it's um, you know seen as a female trait to be very talkative uh, and this is true and related to this if you feel that you are if you feel that there's something wrong with you if you would rather yeah seclude yourself to meditate for a week now of course I'm exaggerating but if you feel that if you still go to school you get a lot of social interaction and you want to take the weekends off to just not be with anyone you perhaps want to read or do something else then it's important for you to not feel strange because you want that now for some people they still want even more social interaction but for some primarily guys then who have a different archetype you want to spend some time by yourself so never feel bad about that it's completely normal especially if you have that sort of archetype so it's completely natural and you should not feel bad for not be wanting to go to a party or whatever it might be but it's also important to not judge others too harshly because again we are different we have different archetypes some people they are satisfied with they gain fulfillment and satisfaction out of life by having yeah by going to uh, social events to drink beer at the bar whereas someone who has different aspirations might view that as a waste of time uh, because he can only get satisfaction and fulfillment if he focuses on the greater goal so that's also why i live in a certain way because i can only gain satisfaction by doing that 
so I don't mind working 24 hours each day. Um, I don't mind it because it's the best path to to me feeling fulfilled and happy. Now, of course, I don't work that much, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to be productive, but being productive for me, it's also a way to reach my goals, to be true to my aspirations. So, so you might see some people saying a good day is where you did nothing. Uh, for me, it's not. A good day is where I've gotten a lot of things done. Um, again, because of my archetype, I'm optimizing my archetype. Now for you, you might be very social, yes, then use that to the best of your advantage. Um, and don't feel bad for not wanting to read Persian poetry on a Friday night. It's, you don't, you're not a better person because you do it. So anyway, I have rambled on for long enough. I hope it made sense at least, but takeaway point. Try to find your archetype and try to work in tune with your nature and don't judge others too harshly. Don't be be tolerant. I mean, I'm not saying that you should be tolerant in uh, if people do bad things, but you should be tolerant in the sense that everyone can't be the same. And I don't want you who are listening to this, who are watching this, I don't want you to say that, oh, uh, the great lion said that you need to be exactly like him. Uh, because I don't say that. I only want you to be the best version you can be. It can be different from me. I'm not saying that everyone has to be an Adonis class living statue. If you are a musician, I want you to be the best possible musician. And this goes for any archetype. So keep that in mind and be humble about yourself. I am very humble. That's uh, what I'm known for. The humble one is actually what they call me. Uh, no, okay, not really, but um, I'm humble in the sense that I am true to my archetype. Anyway, rambling over, thank you for watching. XXO, I forgot. Check out all links in the description box below. And again, do not forget to sign up for the podcast. Now, XXO, boom!